students so today we will discuss about internet and its application so the term internet is not a new term to you all of you use this term in our day to day life okay and make use of its and its applications in every field of our work now today we will learn more about it what do you mean by actually what do you, what do you mean by the term internet what are its ap other applications and other terms related to internet okay so let us begin our discussion so first of all we will begin with the term what is internet so internet is a collection of interconnected computer networks which provides information and data on nearly any topic so what do you mean by computer networks computer networks is a medium or an arrangement of connect to a uh, connection of two or more computers to share and exchange our informations and data okay now if there are lots of computer networks which are interconnected with each other then it form a internet okay so through internet we can discuss on any topic we can share informations and send and receive data throughout our world in a very short amount of time okay now the term world wide web now what do you mean by the world wide web or in simply we use the term web some of you may confuse the world wide web with internet they just think that the world wide web is the internet and internet is the world wide web but no world wide web is a service of an internet okay so with the help of this world wide web we can use the service of numbers of websites with the help of which we get informations okay so world wide web is a part of the internet okay don't confuse it with the term internet now let us discuss some of the other applications of internet the first one is the world wide web which we have already discussed so it is an different types of websites with a lots of information can be found okay now e business now there are, now it is in every business they have their own websites which is open 24 by 7 to their for their customers and their other employees so they can connect it with each other and do their business and other related works even if they are staying in any geographic corner of their world okay and they can share the information in second of time okay e-commerce so e-commerce you know all about amazon flipkart then you know about the um, about a certain um, online store like uh, where from which we can purchase our books also so these are the uh, in from amazon also you can purchase books so these are the websites through which we can sell and buy product from sitting at your comfort zone okay so you don't have to go to the market and search for the items there are lots of items we can search through websites and even if you have to exchange it you can easily exchange it so now uh, e-commerce is one of the applications of internet now as we are going through this lockdown period we have how we are communicating using the internet only we are doing certain online classes we are having certain webinars well, what is a webinar means when the seminar is held in with the help of this wave means the internet connection or the websites is known as webinar then we have your web conferences video conferences we are going they are going lots of video conferences through online only we use the apps like zoom then we use google meet these are the applications through which we do this work okay now the social media you all of you know about facebook twitter instagram these are the medium through which we can communicate with our friends and share our interest uh, shares our interest videos and uh, photos anything we want to uh, share with our thinking knowledge we can easily share with each other and make new friends and can know about so many things about our country okay so online gaming nowadays all of you know about online gaming and all people used to play online games and they can also earn money through it now software updates you know that we have to update our software from day by day after so um period of time so this uh, updated software easily can be downloaded from the, our the internet okay now let us discuss some of the terms used in the internet okay our world wide web world wide web is a part of the internet now web page you know all of uh, all of you know about web page what is a web page it is a page of information which consists of text graphics audio video and hyperlinks so 
web page is a collection of information which consists of text tech it may contains text it may contains graphics images it may contains audios it may contains videos and hyperlinks now what is a hyperlink hyperlink is a type of text image or graphics which easily help us to move from one page to another okay so if we click on this hyperlinks means the the hyperlink may be a text it may be an image it may be a graphics so when we, we will when you will move your mouse pointer in above the hyperlinks it will change its um, shape to someone like it means sorry it will change the color of the hyperlink to different color okay you will understand that okay it is the hyperlink then it when we will click here you can move to other page also okay now website what's the website collection of the web pages is a website so you know about google amazon these are all websites so where in these um, websites like the amazon flipkart when you click there are so many web pages when you go there you can go from one web page to another with the help of these hyperlinks so the one page to another means there are all web pages and this collectively known as one websites now if you want to open any website what do you want you want the website address so these are the website address like the google.com amazon.com but when you type well, uh, in this website in some address bar you want you have to type it in some browser no so what you do you just type google.com and you press the enter automatically this whole sign come now https dot then slash slash www.google.com what is the meaning of this it is known as the uniform resource locator means it is the address of the web page which will open means it will not give you the address means the website address but it also give you from which service the website or the um, pages you are accessing it will also give that one and like the which protocol it is using protocol means what type of medium or what type of rule you should follow so that this web page comes to our web browser okay here https means all the websites follow the protocol https we are not going in detail about the protocol which is not including your syllabus so just keep in mind that https these are all known as protocol the from full form of https is hypertext transfer protocol so web browser you all of you have heard about web browser you to open any website you have to use web browser but what is a web browser it is an application software with the help of which we you open the web pages of a website so the in every web browser you have your address bar where you type the address of the web browser okay so there are different types of web browsers from different different companies we have your google chrome you have your internet explorer mozilla firefox opera edge netscape navigator so there are different type of web browser and depending upon our use which are more comfortable to us we use generally use the, uh, the web browser which is comfortable to us mostly we use web chrome google chrome and firefox opera also sometimes people use uh, most of the time i am not telling that the other web browser they are not using they are also used okay now we will discuss about email now what do you mean by email email stands for electronic mail okay so with the help of this email we can send and receive our information sitting at any geographical location in a span of time okay to use this service we need an email account no doubt we can sell it but before that we should have our email account so how we can have our email account there are so many com organization are there who provide us this service we have to just register our name and make our email id and with a password and with the help of this we can have our email id and we can send and receive our mail okay now how to send and receive me email so we to receive the mail there is you have so many uh, places are there like the first is a inbox where you all your mail the important mail will come there it will when you click there it will open all your mail which you have received now how to send the mail what you have to do if you uh, there in every web browser there you have one option or button called compose okay so you will click there you will in there you will have certain columns there to write the name of the receiver uh, to whom you will send the your mail so then you will write the subject 
okay then you will write the content if you want to attach any file with that you also you can also attach it then you can click on the send button okay so this is an ex uh, one screenshot of an email after opening okay so this is the inbox there see okay sorry let me show you so this is the inbox here okay so when you will click on this inbox your all your mails will open which you have received now if you want to compose your mail it is a gmail account you click on this part, part. this is a compose mail you click there when you will when you will click there this window will open automatically okay now you have to type the name of the recipient in the to button okay so you can send more than means you can send to more than one people at a time the same mail okay using cc and bcc command what do you mean by cc and bcc i will discuss means you can send the same mail to more than one people by you can write the name of the email id of first person then give a comma then second person like this you will write the subject means what for example you want to um, invite any person for your uh, for a conference you just write uh, invitation for a conference then you write the your whole content of your letter if you want to at attach any file there are certain buttons there and below you have you can you have to click here and you will proceed to from where you want to save uh, open um, sorry attach your file it will just give you the location you will click there and after that you will click on the send button which will be there in the above button here uh, once send button will be there you will click there okay sorry sorry one send button will be there here you will click there okay so this way you can create your own email id okay As, uh, email id and can send and receive your mail now we will discuss about certain social media all of you have heard about social medias so what is a social media social media is a medium of sharing of information ideas interests, and other forms of expression via internet internet okay so so we will discuss some of the forms of social media blog now what is a blog the blog is a sort in short the word web blog is term as blog it is an online journal or informational website where writer or even a group of writer share their views on an individual subject so blog may be of different types okay you may have a sing, uh, individual blog you maybe have have a group blog where you uh, share your any type of informations or of your interest where you get comments from other people also and you will discuss about any topic of your interest okay so again next one is a twitter all of you heard about twitter twitter is also an social networking site where you can send small small messages okay instant message and these small small short messages are known as tweets so this is the symbol logo of a twitter like a bird okay next is the facebook Facebook is a very popular social networking website where you can make friends, okay, you can make groups, you can post your pictures, videos, share, com share certain pictures, then you can reply to any com comments, okay. So many things can be done now, then nowadays marketing also is done using Facebooks and all, okay. Now YouTube, I, what I am sharing here is with the help of YouTube only, okay. YouTube is a video sharing service where you can send videos on through online and people and we can also search videos of our interest you just type in the youtube uh, search button of your any um, topic you search there so many videos related to this uh, topic will come and you can view the videos okay and if you want to upload video you should have it on your up to open your youtube channel and after that you can upload your youtube also uh, youtube videos also so instagram is also an another networking uh, social networking platform where you can share mostly you share photos and small small video clips okay and whatsapp all of you know about whatsapp it is an instant messaging service and its cost is very low uh, relatively to the text message which we can send through our mobile okay now it is people use whatsapp only okay now about we will discuss about certain digital india digital india is a flagship program of the government of india which is a vision to transform india into digitally empowered society and knowledge economy so digital india is a program by the government which encourages the people to do all the um, works through digitized okay we can 
apply for pen card aadhar card and can make the linking of aadhar card bank card and mobile with mobile number okay everything can be done using this application launched by the or website launched by the uh, government of india okay with this i'm just it's a very um, simple topic so you just go through the terms if you have any doubt you just mention me okay so thank you